Are we rolling? Looks like we're rolling. <gasps> we're rolling! Yay! <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? So, oh, let me just make sure I have a halo as opposed to blinding you too much. Oh, that's pretty cool though. So hi, it's Lexi, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, it's been forever. Or so it feels like since I last did a video, so I, I do apologize. Um, and uh, I thank you so much to all the subscribers I already have who have stuck with me, it's awesome. I hope you are really far along your law of attraction journey already. Um, I've got some pointers for you, of course, that, you know, are my personal experience. If you've not seen my videos before, I literally, I, I have no sort of like financial gain from this. I'm, I'm not trying to sell you something or anything like that. I'm literally kind of just reporting in from my law of attraction stuff with people. And I'm really pleased to say that so far I've had lots of people come back to me and say, this really works and it's so good. And um, I even had one people say, you should do your own program. But I think that's when I have a bit more time, maybe. So, But thank you very much for everybody's support. And uh, I hope you get a little something out of this video. So, um... The first thing that I'm going to tell you to do that has absolutely saved my life, saved my faith in the law of attraction, and has really, really just boosted my productivity, really made me look very seriously at my life in, in for so many reasons, is about six months ago or so, I got myself an accountability buddy, as we might call them. Um, so this guy, who I've known for about six years, um, he has pretty much the same kind of goals as me which is really good and we sat down and we kind of swapped what we wanted to do with our lives what we wanted to do with our careers where we wanted to go next and it became apparent that we could work together very well so for the past sort of six months we've been working on this uh, project I'm gonna come back to that at the end but anyway accountability buddy a great idea get somebody who is kind of on the same path they're wanting to better themselves. You are obviously wanting to better yourself, better your life, however you want to look at it. Um, having somebody who wants to do the same thing, you've got to make sure that they are somebody who will build you up, will not kind of hold you back. I, I tried to start um, a business with somebody else, uh, again, sort of like about um, eight, nine months ago, and I'm now running that business by myself because I had somebody who was so busy being worried that they didn't really see the opportunities that were there. Whereas I was kind of looking at things from as big a picture as I could and going, no, we can do this if we do this, and this is a possibility and looking for all the positives. Therefore, I was actually able to make something of it. And she kind of held me back a little bit that way simply because she was so worried about, you know, having never done the specific thing we were doing before. So get somebody who is going to champion you. I'm horrendously lucky with my accountability buddy because he says all the right things. I hope that I, you know, somehow stir him up as much as he stirs me up because, you know, he, he says all the right things, you know, you're amazing, your life goals, you can do this, you're, you're great, whatever. You know, somebody who does pick you up because the last thing you need when you've had one of those days where you're trying to stick with your goals, you're trying to get somewhere, is somebody over your shoulder going maybe maybe this isn't for you you need somebody who keeps you ticking over who sees your strengths who helps you with your weaknesses somebody who you can be accountable to so it always helps if they have the right mindset of course have the same mindset as you um, helps if the goals are similar in the same way I know in some cases that might detract because there might be an issue of jealousy there so talk that out <laughs> before you say okay you're my accountability buddy um, so yeah that would be the main point because that has really changed stuff for me recently okay um, secondly I believe I've mentioned this before but I'm getting back into this at the moment putting it in the past put the thing that you want in the past, it's already happened. I know that we can say that. We say, well, it, it's already done type of thing. But even if we just say that, it doesn't kind of have the same power as literally putting a little memory and pretending that you got that award yesterday or that um, 
you reached that specific career goal last month and are now living the life that you knew you were always worth. It's so, it's so connected our subconscious to the rest of the universe. It's almost like the, the veil is very thin between and making sure that you have what you want in your past. It does something to you physically. It's, it's very strange. I've talked to before about the, the pulse kind of thing. That's sort of like a pulse of joy, a pulse of gratitude. Every time I have one of those, and I had one recently, and I don't know how it's manifested, something has manifest for me. So put it into the past. Make it something that has already been achieved, and it will show up, and you will be so ready for it. I hate to say this, but you'll almost be like, oh, well, there it is. And you might not be as excited, but get excited beforehand because it's coming. And then you can just go on to the next girl and the next bigger girl and the next bigger girl. So, you know, that's what I've been experiencing. Like, for example, um, last night I had my accountability buddy getting really excited for me because we won another award. Woohoo! And he was like, yay, that's so great. I'm so proud of you. Well done. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, another award. It's cool. Because <laughs> the excitement, you know, when I was uh, making the film that we got the award for, I was kind of going, yeah, it's going to win some awards. Yeah, it'll be fine. And I was so sure of it that it shows up now. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. And it almost feels arrogant, which means that a lot of us sort of rebel against it. It's not arrogant. It's literally using the universe. Do not worry about it being arrogant. You are not being, you are using a tool that people have known about for time out of mind. So seriously, you'd be a fool not to use it. So yeah. Um, something else that I have really loved doing over the past year, in fact, the past couple of decades of my life, uh, has been daydreaming. Now, I was one of those kids who was told, get your head out of the clouds, what an imagination you have, all that kind of thing. It serves you. Feel free to daydream. You could even set some specific time aside in which you specifically daydream about stuff you want, about stuff that you're going to tell yourself that you already have, about what your life would like. Give yourself space as well in those daydreams to think, I'd like this, this, and this. And then to go, yeah, that would be nice. But actually, maybe I want bigger. I want this, this, and this. Because it's all good. It's all sort of like, think of it almost like a, as therapy, daydreaming. You're, you're telling a psychologist, which is the universe, you're kind of creating an order of, of what you'd like. And the universe will send you things like, which brings me on to another point in just a second. Um, one last thing is, uh, before I get onto that, assault yourself with these videos. If you feel down, put on a law of attraction thing. Um, you know, make it so that the mentality keeps you ticking over. You keep hearing other people, not just your accountability buddy, but other people telling you that you can do it, that it is possible for you, that, you know, there's, there's nothing ordinary about you. You are special in your own way and you can make this happen, which is absolutely 100% the truth for absolutely everybody watching this video. And so if you feel down or even if you're like worried that it, the feeling might slip, as it were, watch, the, watch more videos. Go on something for Abraham Hicks, which occasionally can get a bit much for me personally. But there's hundreds of wonderful motivational videos out there, hundreds of uh, law of attraction ones, and it's it it really works. I think just just picking up your mood, as we know from the secret and so many other things, the real secret to the secret is to feel good. So allow yourself to feel good. Allow yourself to you know, watch those things, you know, I sometimes do it when I'm working out and that's great because I've got my adrenaline going, I'm really happy, so I'm on top of the world and then I can come home and get a load of stuff done with my day. It's, it's wonderful. Just, just keep going. Just keep getting that reinforcement. Um, and the kind of last point of this is kind of bringing you back to uh, my story, I guess. Some of you I know and, and 
thank the gods for you, those of you who have been with me since the beginning, which is about a year ago, worryingly, somehow. Um, the shortcut that comes as a result of the universe knowing exactly what you want and bringing it to you may not look like you want it to. Do you know why? It's because you've got, here you are, for example, and here's where you want to be, all the way up here. The universe has to figure out how to get you there. You have no idea what that journey is going to look like, but the universe has your back. It knows best how to get you there. So it might surprise you in certain ways how that happens. And of course, here comes the story. So as you know, a year ago I started doing this because I literally just gone into you know full-on law of attraction I was taking it really seriously it was my you know whole existence I would listen to billions of uh, motivational videos it was really working for me and I just felt good and I was living as if I had my ultimate amazing life already and I was so happy and then I got the news about this big audition and I was nervous and I was freaked out but I did it and then I got a notice of some kind of callback going on so um, something else happened then and I was really excited and the I think it was overall seven potentially eight months I was going okay so what's going on with this it takes ages and ages to actually cast some of these films so I wasn't too worried and then I think it was literally just before Christmas so we are going back away now wow that's how long it's been um, I got the notification from my agent at the time saying parts not going anymore so that's that and I remember I was with my accountability buddy Andrew and I remember sort of sagging and just being like what? But, but this was my thing. This, this was it. This was this was my shortcut. This was what God, the gods, the universe, however you want to look at it. This was my path. And I was so shaken in that moment that it. I have to admit, it took me a while to sort of like get over that moment because it was so unexpected. And Andrew saw and he listened to me and he kind of sat me down he said look at what your life looks like now because you got that encouragement because you believed that you were good enough for this thing which you are just not right now maybe and he was so right I kind of looked around at the things that I'd done in those past few months. I'd done some things that I never thought I would do. I essentially run two businesses now. <laughs> if you told me that, like, when I first started these videos, I literally would have laughed at you. But I run an education thing <laughs> where we do after-school drama clubs, both in Sheffield and Folkestone. A bit weird, I know, but yeah, I'm running that, which is really lovely, and I'm also touring my shows, like up and down the country. I've had my one-woman shows on in Buxton last year, and that got me a nomination for Best Actress there, which was really cool. Um, I've been to Bournemouth, I've been to Southampton, I've been to Derby, um, I'm going to Leeds at some point. I'm doing, this year I'm doing the Buxton Fringe, I'm doing the Camden French, I'm doing the Brighton French, and out of nowhere, no confidence in myself before a year ago that I could do any of that. And the best thing of all is that Andrew is incredibly good at producing and getting people together. He's worked on some big budget stuff before, and we sat down. This was after, this was, this was while I still thought that this part was going to happen. And we kind of sat down and we decided we were going to put together a show. So we're writing a TV mini-series. It's almost ready to send out to people, but we are making it. And that's my shortcut. And it came off of the encouragement 
and the idea that this was going to work with this other thing. And the universe saw that, and I had no idea that that would have that effect. Do you see what I mean? I only just see what I mean. So, yeah, I mean, I've talked for 15 minutes already, so I apologize. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you're having a great day. And as um, always, please feel free to leave comments. Please like and subscribe if you can. Um, if not, I ain't gonna come to your house and kill you. Um, <laughs> I also have a uh, Twitter page, which is just Lexi Wolf. Um, I also have a Facebook page, which is um, Lexi Wolf official page. Please feel free to like that. That'd be very nice too. Um, but also, in as much as I can, I'm incredibly busy at the moment, as you can probably tell, because I'm writing and running two small businesses. Um, do drop me a line if you want any questions answered or if you want me to um, feedback about something, maybe in a video at some point in the future. I'm really sorry that I've left this so long between videos. Um, but <sighs> there you go. My life does look completely different from the way it did a year ago. And I, I wouldn't have done it had it not been for the law of attraction. Whether the universe helps you or not in your mind, having the law of attraction on your side can literally change you. And that changes how you react to your world and how your world reacts to you. I hope you have a great day. Take care wherever you are, and I love you.